for looking at all the junkyard. Gone, boy. Sweat off. Another good day. Oh my god. You got a good day. You came back? Yeah, we came a Good back kill. We got deer. We got deer meat for days. Deer, deer meat, meat for days. For days. <laughs> Have fun. <laughs> Have fun. He's like, peace. <laughs> Look at him. He's like, huh? <laughs> hey, I, I'm, I'm with it. Bring it, bro. Bring it. Oh, oh we got some crumb. What's up guys, S1 Built, TK here. Today we're gonna to show you guys how to convert stock Honda trailing arms, convert them to all-wheel drive arms. Uh, we sell a do-it-yourself kit, which you guys can purchase, and you guys can use your own OEM arms on your car to convert it. Or you can go to the junkyard, pick up some arms off a car, and then convert it yourself. We call those arms, or OEM style arms. When we put them together and sell the arms themselves, we call them our OEM style arms. And they come in four lug or five lug, um, two, uh, from 88 to 2000 Civic, up to 2001 Integras. These arms are not gonna be available long on the market. Um, we're gonna be switching over to the Alpha 6, and the Alpha 6 has the o same OEM locations. It's just that the Alpha 6, you know, we make it complete, make it, and it's a little bit thicker metal, and it's lighter. And it comes with our custom hubs, just like the, um, the OEM style. So we're gonna take you guys on a journey. And in, in case you guys just want some knowledge, extra knowledge, or have questions, and you don't use our kit, or you know whatever the question is, you guys can always reach out to us at info at s1built.com. And you know, we share the knowledge with you guys. We don't, we don't try to keep knowledge here or anything like that. We try to share it and you know, spread it, you know what I mean? So, taking a journey, let's go. You guys can see KK is drilling away. The heat, that's what's up. Part of the process of making these oil. You always want to use some kind of loop oh, so you don't burn out the bit. Burn out the bit, yep. This is OEM style. These are how the arms come in. You gotta you gotta source them first of all. Go to junkyard, source them. They usually come together like this. Then you have to remove these bolts. You take this piece off, you know, with a disc or the drum. So when you have this now, you do what KK is doing and you have to drill out, you know, these tabs. So in order to use our special hubs that we have. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, <laughs> ten. Ten. Ten spots to cut out. Ten spots. Ten, ten spots to, to drill out. To drill out, yep. And when you drill them out, this is how it looks over here. These are the plates right here. They're all drilled out. This is the plate. This is the plate you need to take out right here. That's the plate that has to come out. So that's how it looks, guys. That's how it looks once you drill it out. Once you drill it out big enough, the hole, it should just pop right out. Right out. This is how it looks. And then after this, we go over here. We gotta, we gotta put our plate on that so that way we can. Um, do our bearings over here we have our custom plates that we're going to bolt to those oem arms this way we can use our hubs this one's about to weld up a few yeah we've got a couple orders um the do the do it yourself which is basically they're going to we're gonna give them everything, and they're gonna weld it themselves. Do it so, themselves. Source yeah, it. Source their own arms and everything. Yeah. So it's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. Uh, they could save, you know, save a few hundred dollars. Yeah. You know, by doing themselves by welding it. But some people don't. You know, they don't have the welder. They don't have the uh, means to do it. So that's why they just buy one that we already um, put together. Put together and all that powder coat for them and all that. So. Oh, nice. So yeah guys, we're going to show you the complete process. We're going to take it to the powder coating place after they're done. Stay tuned. Alright, so after you pre-drill it with the smaller bit, we, we personally, we use a step bit. We get all, pretty much, make the holes even bigger. You're knocking out all the, the, all, all the tacks right here. Yeah. So, but when it comes to here, you got to be careful because this, this is where the, um, 
the bolt goes in in here. Yes. You don't want to. You don't want to. If you go straight down, you end up. You end up ruining this. See how I hit it a little bit? Yeah. So you kind of want to go to angle. Yeah. So you hit it. Control arm right there. Yeah. Yeah. So. So do now it that, now that first you, and they open it up wide, right? Correct. So now you got that. If you come over here, you see this little, this little edge right here, where where it comes up. This is where I norm. This is where I normally just tap it. The way it comes loose. There. It goes over a little bit. I'll show you. I'll show you from the bottom, guys. See this little part right here. That curves over. It Once curves you bang over. it up like that, bang it up. You can like then start you just, working then you it out. Then you start working it out. You just start finagling it out. Cool. Here, we go. here you, you guys can see Chad starting the holes with a smaller, smaller drill bit right here. As KK was just saying, then move on to the bigger drill bit. Cool. All right, so we just finished drilling this, and after you pry this plate off, uh, which I've already done, we use this block now you guys don't get this block but we use this as like a guide tool it's just a piece of metal five inch by two inch that we made to guide the three inch circle so if you want to look closely if you see how this is this is faced um after you pry this off we use this hole right here and this hole right here and we use this tool basically to get a center point now exact center right? yeah to get an exact center to make the um, the three inch hole. So we can put in our hubs, so our hubs can fit. Yeah, so the hubs um, can fit. CVs. So basically we take this three inch hole saw right here. And the fluid right there. We, the um, fluid there right I there put too. before, yeah. We always wanna have fluid so that it doesn't uh, burn anything up. But see, this is uh, centers it and basically centers a three inch hole just like that. All right, so there you go. Pieces inside there. Let's go ahead and take this out. Okay. And there's your, there's your hole. That's there's cool. your hole. Now we're gonna need to cut this piece where it, where it bevels. Got to cut that, and then this over here. And this will give you that. Um, well, you're gonna cut off this angle and then put another angle on correct. the outside, right? On the outside. Okay. All right, guys. This is after you got drill, the three-inch hole there with the plate that we showed you guys with. Right here, you guys are gonna have to cut out. It's approximately two and a half inches, you know, give or take. And this is where we um, we have our plate right here that we bend and we weld it. We weld it here. The reason we do that is when you use the wagon, the wagon CV. See, when it goes in, it hits. So that's the spot that we that, that we take out right here. Take it out. We put that in. That way, it frees up this space right here. So what we're, we're saying is that after you've done that, right here needs to be grinded off. Right here needs to be grinded off. Okay. This has a gusset plate on. You guys can tell on the stock, the back of the stock ones, it's not like braced or anything. And we've seen these crack before, you know? So we have our gusset plate, which we put on for brace, straightening. And this is how it looks. When it's done, we're gonna show you guys how to, you know, clamp it on and weld it. Clips of that here in a minute. Now our plate, this is our plate right here for our, our uh, custom hub. This is our custom hub right here. Comes in either a four or five lug. Very heavy duty cut um, stuff going on right there. And this is the up, see? So this all right here and this all right here is what we used to line up, line this up. So I already marked the holes, that one and that one. So when you line it up right that, make sure this one, the top one right there is perfect. You guys probably can't see that good, but this one is perfect hole. And this one is used to line up. That's good. So after this one is perfect and this one is perfect right there, this used to line up. We're gonna have to drill out this. 
drill this out all right and also this bolt right here is one of the reasons also that we have to um put this plate in you know so for the cv and for this bolt to be solid on we're going to show you guys um how we brace this on and then tack it in different places and then after we tack it we completely weld it this have to be completely welded on you can't half step this all right so i'm going to show you that there in a minute and here's a close-up here of our custom hub well made s1 built only we can get these So we got JIT here, big up JIT. So as, as you guys can see, everything was you know sanded down a little bit so the welds could the welds can um, grip better on there and um, as I told you guys earlier, the gusset plate is gonna provide a lot of strength for this. And JIT is gonna be welding the gusset plate together and also welding the piece that we said right here, you know. As you guys can see, just welding it probably an inch and a half apart, right? Two yeah. inches. Coming out good. Okay, so basically, how do you, you know, I know TK explained a little bit um, how to, how to um, align this up. So basically, this top piece right here goes on top. The way that I do it is to line it up is put this first one in here, all right, this guide bolt that holds that. That's the one that first. lines up? That yep. lines up, yep. And we use that small one over there to line up This too. one, this one here, and put that right in the middle. Now, see how that one's in the middle? Mm -hmm. Don't worry about these two, you're going to drill those things those out. Those are going to drill out, right? Correct. Nice. So now what I do is, um, once that's lined up, I go ahead and put one clamp, clamp on this it. thing down. I got it, you can explain. Okay. So I clamped it down, you see it's lined up, that's still of course. Mm -hmm. There's a so you have everything lined up there. Got one clamp. And then I clamp this thing down. There you go. So now it's ready. So now what I'm gonna do is tack. Tack it and weld tack, it, right? Tack, tack, yeah, tack, tack. Yeah, I got you tack it. Yep. guys completely welded all the way around all the way around no space missing make sure this is completely welded so next we're gonna be we're gonna be doing you know welding on the, the brace right there and then grinding out the back part all right we're about to weld the piece right here you can tell that um jits already bended it and shaped down the edges right there make sure everything fits snugged up and what side are you gonna put on Jim? Nice. So that's how it looks right there. As you guys can see. As I told you guys before, that piece right there, after he welds, that piece is gonna get grind down because the, the wagon CVs hit that. So we're gonna go ahead and tack it up. He's giving it small tacks first to hold it in place. Then he's gonna pour the whole thing. There you go. Jits done with the piece right there. What's up, KK? Yo, what's up, man? What up? What up? All right, so step bit is what we're using to clean out these uh, these holes. Um, they don't line up because it's. Then we use this other bit to clean up all these pieces right here. Clean all this up. Clean up this piece right here. All these pieces. You guys can see KK already, KK already drilled out these holes. They're perfect, ready to go. But right now he's just cleaning up. This gotta be cleaned up and little edges right here. Yeah. Gotta get it perfect. I got one down here. I'll, I'll show you real quick. The, Another the, one. I'm gonna drill it. 
take it off. We're pretty much getting it prepped, getting it ready to um, send it off the powder coating. Let's over for me real quick. Oh. Yeah, yeah, like this stuff, guys, you see this? Like yeah. all this, you have to clean it up, you know, drill it up, you know, make everything that's perfect this, and that's everything. That's when this, uh, this bit comes into that play and just starts shaving off shave and clean it. all the extra ones. But this one's already drilled out, everything's perfect, ready to go. Yeah. This is next. See, need to be drilled out. That's not drilled. That's not drilled. So okay. See, like you see this one right here. See how it's not lined up. Lined up yeah. So just put it towards you a little bit to just get it in there. That's pretty much it. And you look That's down. It. It's Boom. straight. Boom. Down. And you got this one right here. There's usually, there's always three. Yep. That's set. Always done. And you got just to kind of clean this one up. That's it. Let me see. And as you guys can tell, you know, we already welded it, and everything is already welded. You really don't have an, a need to drill it and put bolts in it but it's best to just do them both you know weld it on tight and then drill and these are so the bolts holds. and there's a bolt right there so it goes right on see the lines yep can you see it in the light yep yep that's it, that's so it. kind of like a test run see it goes in smooth so when you put the hub in it yep. lines up the way it's supposed to now it's got to start doing the cleaning process of getting all this out that piece out cleaning right. this out just kind of cleaning it up cool all right guys you can see that kk Completely took that part off. Next, he's just going to clean it up, and it's going to be ready for powder coating. Super hair, gumball, inside. These guys are mad busy. We're gonna be dropping off some arms at part of Colton today. Whoa, arms today, look at this. Getting them drilled out right now. See, just cleaning it up, make it easier for them to powder coating. Nice, nice. Make sure everything is all good, you know. Right now we're gonna head over to Yosher. Check out the EG6. EG6 right hand drive. Right hand drive. Shave, shave bay. You picking up something out your car? What, my car? Yeah, man. We're driving the real, the real fast car. <laughs> That's what you don't, you don't recognize me. What's up? Up in here, rolling up in Yosher. Yeah. We're gonna check out the EG. The EG6. That's good. He might be here. He might not be here. Oh, okay. He's done. Yeah, he's here. How do you know he's here? Oh, this is and this is shop right here. There goes the other. Yeah, he's right there. Yeah. He's here. All right. So yeah, we're just gonna roll up on it. <laughs> I almost had to wait outside. Watch me get one more nail up in this place. Okay, yeah. Hey, check this out. See that? We're not even paying attention. Yeah, here. Take some of this. <laughs> you know I'm going to no, put it right here. Oh, and it's one right here. <laughs> then we're going to ask him like, "Hey, why you only got one arm over there? Yeah. Where's the next one at?" Yeah, oh, man. Oh, what up, bro? Where else oh, at? We hungry too, bro. I know. What's going on, man? <laughs> Look at that. He's good. <laughs> what's up, what's up? <laughs> Chilling, bro. Where you up to? 
What's up, little man? Little man. Little man. It's what's been up, Yosh. Chillin, chillin. Yeah, I, I, I thought you had two of those. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yosh, come here, man. Songs. Uh, Stole it. Got them. Oh, there's my radio. Okay. <laughs> They're like, what you talking about? Man, you're, you're over there eating food. You don't know what's going on right here, man. People, people can come up in the shop and take your stuff, boy. <laughs> Yosh are handling business. Coming together, Yosh. It's nice. Look at Yosh doing work. Getting that work in. Yeah. <laughs> we want to give a shout out to uh, OBD Welding Works for these um, tower, shock tower, and then all these plates right here to plates. make things a lot, lot easier. So, and all the plugs and all that that we got from them also. So. Yeah, coming together. Yosh putting in some work, man. Where's Mike at, matter of fact? Huh. Mike, where you at? He should be over here. He should be over here. Especially on a Saturday. Huh? He's on a boat with his girlfriend. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. <laughs> we got you, Mike. We got you. Don't, Don't get done. It's gonna get done. Yeah. Don't worry. <laughs> and this is your this is this your baby, right? Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna preview that another day. You got that yellow top. You guys seen that yellow top before? Okay. Yep. I'm almost coming together. He running. What? What? He running the a AC? Yeah. All right, I see. You gotta have AC. Right. <laughs> Still hot right here. Dude, too hot. Too, too hot. Okay. Nice, but this is coming together too, man. This is the engine bay paint king right here. I mean, do you need AC right now? Because that mine kind of needs it. No. <laughs> I told you, I have the other bracket. You do? I think so. Okay. Yeah, this, hey, this, this one was, oh, was messed up. So I re-threaded that, and then now I can separate back on, but I have a new uh, rack and pinion. Nice. What do you think? Hi, right, Yosh. All right, Yosh. Uh, All right, brother. I'll be safe. Thank you. Right here. We got that doom bug. Can we record? Can we record? Check this out. It looks like one of them doing not doing buggy but like you know them races you could drive around and crash cars together like bang bang yeah yeah, yeah it looks like total frankenstein now you think honda got a lsv take some type of frankenstein that was a frankenstein yo fresh from powder coat and profab right yeah let's pick them up nice sang come check them out okay nice right that would look good on your car my car, uh, yep. Yeah, your multi-color car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look at that thing. It's nice, right? Wow. So this is what it looks like, guys. So now I gotta paint my car. Just put these arms on. Yeah, you gotta paint it. <laughs> was Profile busy? Anyone was not busy, right? No, it wasn't that busy today. Nice. See, guys, this is what it looks like when it's done. All powder coated. This one is purple, so you guys can see. Let's bring this around so you guys can see this area. It's all done up now. See it? Everything that we showed you came into play. You can tell everything got cleaned up. I'm gonna flip it over. See it? Here goes that piece right there. Looking real nice. All the holes are lined up right there. Everything's cleaned up. And there's that piece right there, guys. It looks good. I hardly notice anything. Really. It looks stock like it was meant to be there. Yep. That's it. So if you guys want them powder coat, we can too. And this is a do-it-yourself arms, OEM style. And if you want to do it, don't forget, you can buy the parts from us to do it. Put the link down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the videos. Peace.